Welcome back, nerds and nerdettes. Uh, today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide for zombies. So just want to go into the solos to play the game, to try it out. Uh, maybe you're new to zombies, or you haven't played this one yet, and you kind of want to figure out how to get Pack-A-Punch and what all that means. Uh, your first loading screen is just your custom setups. Skills, you'll get uh, Ethereum crystals. You can put them in, you'll get points, which will increase your um, skills, your field upgrades, perks, things like that. Those are just custom builds, custom sets. Ethereum crystals, as you level, you will get them, um, or as you exfil, as you go through higher levels, uh, you'll get ex Ethereum crystals. So usually what I'll do is I'll exfil at like 16 if I'm just trying to collect crystals quick, because I can go from 1 to 16 really fast, get a bunch of stuff done, level some guns. I use the knife as I play. Uh, you'll see here, I'm still using my controller even though I'm on a PC. Uh, you'll exfil in, I use the knife, you'll get the extra Red points for kills with a knife. The first six levels with a knife are the insta-kills, so it's easy. You do have a crafting table. The crafting table can give you tactical, lethals, and support. Support are like your um, air choppers, turret guns, um, the bow and arrow. Things that you can use throughout the game. They take scraps, salvage, things like that, which you'll see as I collect them throughout this game. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. See? Salvage. So what happens is you'll collect a bunch of that as you go, which you can use to get armor, materials, things of that nature. You have points in the bottom left corner. Those points with the little Z looks like a money sign. Allow you to get ammo out of the ammo crates, which you'll see on the screen. They give you little ammo markers. Unlock doors, unlock walls. They're pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's your currency. Every kill gives you them, which is why I use the knife. So instead of getting 100 or 50, depending on the situation, I get 150 every single knife kill. And then when you get double points, you'll get 230. Simple math. You'll get things like this, frag grenades. You'll get Semtex, you'll get C4, you can get armor drops. And this is kind of just like your beginning phase. I like to stay here for usually the first five to six levels. Um, so what I'll do is I'll run around, knife everybody for a few minutes. And then I'll start opening doors. Once you start opening doors, you open up different pathways. You go up here, the bomb won't explode on you. You go all the way up to the top, and you loop back around, and then this is how you can get right to the next section. You can unlock this door. It costs a thousand. I have nine seventy-five, so one quick kill can literally open that. But what I'll do is I'll clear a few of these guys real quick. Um, some salvage. Okay, there's a double XP, so I want to grab that. So this gives you double your points. So every kill is now worth more. I just leveled my knife. Uh, it's great for leveling guns if you want to just come in here. It's usually, I think, every seven to eight zombie kills um, equate to one um, kill in multiplayer. And they're easier to do. You can do these over and over and over and level faster. C4 on the ground. Uh, because of the bottom corner, see where it says two and it's counting down four, three, two, one at the very bottom? That's how many points your double points are. Um, you get nukes. You can get... Double XP, you can get insta-kill, so no matter what gun you have, even if it's a red rarity, you will get insta-kill. I like to buy this Shotguns. as my first gun. Anything better? There is one Easter egg I'm going to show you how to unlock, only because it gives you simple weapons, or you can buy one out of this mystery box. Sometimes it's at the lower half if it's up here. Same thing, it's 9.50, it gives you a random. Uh, the rarities are red, which is your basic entry-level gun. And then you can get greens. Um, there's a oh, bonus. That's bonus XP. There are points. I keep saying XP. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward at this point. Um, there's a thing called training zombies. And you probably have heard the expression before. Uh, what training zombies is, is when you're... You're not training them to do, like, magic tricks, right? You're not training them... Oh, I just did that with one hand. Impressive. Um, you're not training them to do tricks. What you do is you run around in a circle and you make them follow you. What I'll do is let me get a bunch of zombies on this next level and then I'll start showing you how to train them. And what that just basically is, it's like um, a regular train, like like ride on a train to a different city train. And you'll get 
Alright, follow me, buddy. And there's a nuke. What that will do is that will wipe out an entire level. Um, every zombie on the map. You gotta be careful, because sometimes you don't want a nuke. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. Um, but that's what it looks like. It just looks like a nuclear bomb. Uh, the Chuggernog is one of six perks you can get. A perk, um, for this case, would level your health. You have another one that will revive your health faster. There's one. Uh, revive your health faster. There's another one that will make you run faster. Uh, your speed cola, your stamina. There's a whole bunch of different ones, and they're all throughout the map. You just pay the bottom left corner points, and you can pick them up. Some of them are more expensive than others. Um, so let me show you here. Let me start to... Let me get a bunch of them here. Let me show you how to train zombies. What you want to do is you basically... You want them to come at you. And you want them to be in a group. You kind of start slowly running around. Pull them towards you. You're going to run into little ones. These slower ones. I'll kill one or two if they come like really close to me. And it's like a speed zombie. Some of them are fast. Some of them are not. Um, juke your way through. Kill this guy. And then there's... Some of the extra, so you get the blues and the greens, the salvage and the, um, a second here, get these guys over here. So what we'll do is you can level up your guns. So if you have a red, a green, um, a purple, uh, or a legendary and orange, you can get different levels. You see in the bottom of your screen where I have the extra points. Those are your salvage. See, now I got 650. You'll get salvage and scraps, and those salvage and scraps will allow you to upgrade your guns, upgrade your armor, get extra um, protection. And then this is basically training them. So they're all going to be kind of in a group, and you'll see here in a second. I'll pull up my shotgun, and I'll kill you. And then what I'll do is this. So there's 700, see? I'll pull up my shotgun, and I will shoot these guys here. So make sure there's nobody behind me. And then they're just all in a row. And you just shoot straight. And then you'll get an insta-kill. This will kill any, with any weapon. How an insta-kill works, that skull, is no matter what level you are, no matter what level your gun, it will kill them with one shot. Hence, insta-kill. Now, if you do get an insta-kill when there's a boss out, put all your bullets in the boss. You will actually take the boss out faster um, because it will do more damage. So... Uh, this will be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So this is my last guy for this level. So see, I'm at level 5. I have one guy chasing me around. So what I like to do in a situation like this, instead of killing him, because you see how you can kind of just run around him, just kind of juke him out. Let me stun him up here. Um, so what will happen is you can run around him, and you can get down here. You can go right or left. I go left. And this will take you right down to the basement. This is part of an Easter egg. So you can learn about that uh, in a different video I can do for us. Uh, show you the full easy access to do that. But the first thing you want to do is put your power on. I am going to be short on cash. So what I'll do is I'll kill this zombie and then I'll get a herd come in after me. Okay. So round six... You always want, I always want to leave one because in round seven is when you get the, there's plague hounds. They explode their dogs. So I have one more. There you go. Now I can open the power door. You click on this right here. And then you'll see where it says terminal 21 meters. These terminals, watch out, buddy. You click on them. Super simple. These will give you um, the power to the building, which will open up your anomaly. Your anomaly is the, uh, phase in which you'll get Let me just get this Okay, and then the last one. So the anomaly is where you get your uh, Your pack-a-punch challenge done your quest done You don't want to stand too in one place too long and I'll kind of let them kill me later um, When I go to Xville just to kind of show you all back up to a wall um, Ether shroud will hide you. That's why I like the ether shroud. I won't use it um, because I just want to show you kind of what it does, but pretty simple. You just get these guys, follow you, you kill everyone but one. Once there's a single one left, you go about finishing up the rest of the round, the task. So you're not fighting zombies the whole time in the ether. And there's the anomaly down there. You'll see, obviously, it keeps telling me my meters. 
This is your armor, your arsenal, so you can get weapon upgrades. And then you see in the bottom right corner what it takes to do the upgrade and how many points you have. You can get armor that way, and you can upgrade your gun. So if you have a red gun, you want to go green, it'll cost less. And then once you go to a you know, green to a blue or blue to a purple, it just keeps increasing the amount. So let's see, I have one. Is that the last guy? Do I have two? Okay, I got one over there, and I got one right here. So let me get this guy. He's going to throw me at me because it can't get to me. All right, so we're going to go down to the anomaly. You hold, um, well, in this my case, square, uh, whatever it says to hold, E, or whatever button you have in the computer. It's going to take you into the ether. Now it's an alternate dimension. It's the same exact map layout, but what it's going to do is it put everything basically like this. It's going to look like a funky little thing. Go up to the arrow, up to the top on the opposite side where the pack and punch is. And this entrance, now that the power's on everything, you're going to pick right this your starting area. The first area we start to. If you shoot these crystals, they give you stuff like self-revise, um, scavengers, things like that. Um, so you can pick them up if you need them, if you don't have them. And I got a zombie behind me, so let me just go this way. This is the way we went in before. We blew up that little rock. You can go up this little path like we did before. Loop around. Super simple. And then there's your ether tunnel. So there's one thing I'm going to show you, a quick Easter egg that's kind of simple and easy to do. It's on the path. You shoot this box, and you pull up the fuse. Then you go down this ether hole. It costs 500, so make sure you have 500 before you enter. You should. But you go down this hole, and this is how you get your pack-a-punch. At the very bottom, there's going to be a little uh, ghostly silhouette. There it is. Pick it up. Now the room you're in, if you come out, you're going to see you're in that main room with the cola. You're going to turn around, and you're going to go to the machine. Okay, and the reason I showed you, let me just grab this real quick, pop it in, forge machine, and you get an achievement unlocked, heavy metal. Now, this will take you back to the regular world. There is five orbs you can shoot. These five orbs are super simple, and I recommend doing it all the time so you get a good weapon. One's under here, right under the pack of punch. Go up the stairs, right behind it, right here. Now, if you have a long-range gun, there is one all the way across. I'm actually going to run over because I have a shotgun. Let me let him get up to me, okay? So see up in this top corner up here, right across from the Pack-a-Punch? That one? It's a simple shot. And then when you come down here, there is another one behind this box in the corner. And then right underneath the Pack-a-Punch machine, right where you got the first orb. Kind of have to angle funny here, but there's a light right here. You shoot it. And what that's going to do is it's going to take you back into the ether. Okay. Now, the nice part is because that one zombie is there, it's not going to matter. You could have probably just killed him. I would have killed him, but I want to show you something. This is how you get this Easter egg. The coffin Easter egg. Everybody's kind of seen it. Everybody's done it. It's super simple. It's nothing out of the ordinary that you have to do. You grab the one fuse. You grab the shoot the six orbs with any gun you have. And then there's your pack a punch. Your pack a punch. You can pay... Your co uh, coins on the bottom left corner, you can get different ammo. 5,000, you can pack a punch, which will make your weapon hit harder, depending on your level. So these guys right here are carrying this coffin up top. That coffin will drop a, uh, a jug, some salvage, some materials, and a weapon. Uh, sometimes it doesn't drop a weapon, sometimes it drops a perk. That's just bad luck. Uh, but in this case, basically what we do is you just kind of chill out with these guys. Uh, the zombies are all dancing, none of them will kill you. they all just really loud and annoying. Uh, as you can see, there's no zombie around. There's nothing chasing me. So what's going to happen is it's going to take me back out of here. And then I'm going to go back over here. And you're going to see a box on the ground. Now, round seven is the Plague Hounds. I'll show you where I kill them. You don't have to, but it's part of uh, the Easter egg later. And there you go. There you got all these weapons, salvages. You get an epic weapon out of this. Oh, I wanted to grab the, uh, the Chug Nog. There's a Chug Nog on the ground I didn't grab. Um, let me just show you something real quick. If you go up to the way left. I kill him down here. One, um, it's easy. Um, two, this machine right here sucks up the smoke. And it's part of a challenge. There's max ammo. That machine up there is going to suck all the smoke up. And then he comes into here where you put something in later. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That chug dog gives you 50 health. Um... I didn't grab it, so I do apologize, but let me just go back in here. I was going to show you something, but I'm not going to confuse you with it. 
And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you get to this level, this is the bo first boss level. Let me just go down here. Uh, can't upgrade. All right, so I'm going to go all the way out. So I'm going to go left up here. There's a speed cola. That's what makes you run faster. All the way out. And then up to the right. And then we're going to go up to the right again. And this will take you right back to the main area. And you can watch the video a couple times. Pause it if you need to. But this is really simple. There's going to be a big boss that spawns. The boss is pretty quick, pretty easy to kill. Early level. Especially if you do the um, simple Easter egg. I always grab one of these. Quick revive. That's the first perk I get. And you'll see at the very bottom of my screen. It gives me a little blue icon. Quick revive. So if I get hit by a zombie. And it drops me down. I get a 50% boost to my heal. Um, so it heals faster. And then, um, you know what? I'm not going to do this Easter egg. I was going to show you something else. I'm going to do this all at once. This is going to be your beginner game. Get the weapons. Kill the zombies. Do this over and over. I'm going to fast uh, forward or cut the video, edit it, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is your Jugnog if you decide to go that route. You basically kill this guy and he splits. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let me do... Let me kill him and show you what a split looks like because there's something that in this you can get to. He's going to throw it at me, but see, say, look at my health. I just take a bunch of damage here and then we run away. Now watch how quick it fills Survival back up. Boom, 150. Survival mechanic. So now after you kill him Sorry, once... Oh, insta-kill. This is actually going to be nice. I'll show you that. Remember what I was talking about earlier, the double, um, the double health? So watch these things. Look at that. You rip them apart for 1,300. I mean, these dudes are like straight up almost dead and usually it takes a couple extra shots from that let me just refill and there you go now you get armor there's a little yellow card there on the plate that's part of a easter egg you're going to want to grab if you once you get to that point but that's just how you get it super easy insta kill kills everyone i'll show you how to exfil um in the next part so bear with me and i'll cut for all right real quick before we do anything let me show you a couple of things um this is your trial machine at the very end of that first hallway when you come down. Um, what that does is you can do trials. Um, and here's a speed cola. But when you do trials, it'll give you something like kill zombies in a certain area. Or it will be like hip fire kills. And what they do is they give you points. And as the points increase, I'll show you how to pack a punch too. Um, simple purchase. And then your gun will change. It'll look a little bit different. It'll do a lot more power. Um, you have different options for like napalm. Um, hold on one second. I gotta get you. Um, you'll have napalm and things like that you can do for bullets. But the time trials, the time trials, there we go, double XP. Uh, time trials will give you um, different challenges. Those different challenges will give you uh, different tier level weapons. So if you just do it for a couple minutes and you do one trial and you stop, you'll get like maybe a green or a blue. If you do it over and over two or three trials, you can actually get a legendary weapon from those. They don't count towards rounds. But they do give you, um, they do give you some bonus weapons. Uh, once you open the power, by the way, you go through this room, and this is where your stam is up top. And if you come over to this wall, this is actually. Let me open this up. This is your outside. This is kind of where you were running around before when you're kiting all the um, or training all the zombies. Juggernog, um, Juggernog, gives you 50 health uh, when you drink it. And once you add your um, your points in, let me show you how to do an X fill. Once you put your points in, you get different bonuses, different perks. When you get the um, the crystals, those crystals will benefit you as you get further and further in the game. I always say to go to like level 16 in the beginning. Do it over and over and over a few times. X fill out at 16. You come over here, you hold this. Screen's going to flash. This is Woods. Chopper comes in. Shit show right now. Copy. Me oh, I don't have enough. One on route to All right. Get out of there the of um, so what's going to happen is you're going to be the aggressor here. you got a minute and 20 seconds to exfil. Okay, you're exfil. Zombie should be above me. Nope, oh, I thought I heard a dog. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> um, so what you want to do is you want to come all the way over here. Um, you want to push your way outside. Try to kill every single zombie you can as fast as you can. You got to be the aggressor. But this is where the X-Fill is. You'll see it on your map. And then basically what you're going to do is this. You're going to go through. I try to draw them all down here. Just to keep them in one area. 
Uh, there's a big guy there. Throw it out. And this is kind of where you just want to cycle through. Um, use every bullet you have. Uh, 250 dome is a pack of punch. Great. And this is kind of okay. Watch this. All right. I was going to try to back up further, but you fall down. They all run away. You hold square, revives. When you have self revive, uh, you do get revive faster. So now they're already in a train. And I just literally mow them down. And you'll see in the top left corner where it says 16. Um, now there's six zombies, five zombies, four zombies, three zombies, and 11 seconds. Oh, God. Glitched. So, watch out for that. I'll bleep that out. Um, so what's going to happen is now I have to find three zombies exfil, but I can't find them. They're glitched somewhere. So they're supposed to be all in the same area, but that's how you exfil. And if they get glitched, you don't get them. All right, guys, I greatly appreciate you swinging in for the channel. Um, sorry about the exfil didn't work. It got a bug. Um, some of the zombies got stuck. It happens. If you are new... Smash that subscribe key, find your way back to the channel by hitting the notifications, you'll see our videos go live. Also hit that like key if you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, if you haven't played zombies, or you're new to it, and you just kind of didn't know what to do, and it helped you, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see. If you want to see some Easter eggs, if you want to see some simple walkthroughs, I try to do a, bit, a little bit longer of a video, not just quick snapshots. I want to show you paths, rotations, ways to get to things. If I tell you just to get the pack a punch and do it, you don't see the route to get there. Some people get confused. So I try to make it as detailed as possible. So thank you for sticking around and uh, have a nice day.